What up, everybody? I just woke up. I'm real tired. I just got a phone call from a friend of mine with a moving company that he got stranded in the middle of nowhere, Illinois. <laughs> he was driving this uh, box truck of his, and apparently the alternator went out. And this is a uh, JDM Mitsubishi Fuso, and finding parts for this thing is really hard. And um, this is where I'm at right now. This is where we're going to have to go about three hours away to go and rescue him in the middle of nowhere, Illinois, to fix this little guy. So let's go ahead and go save this guy. All right, y'all. I just pulled uh, two batteries from this big old diesel. These diesels, they require a lot of uh, power to get started. So I borrowed them from this. And hopefully we'll be able to start that um, box truck out there in the middle of nowhere. Because uh, that thing takes a lot of power to start. So we're going to go hit the road and see what's going on. All right, you guys. I'm about 20 minutes away from this box truck that I'm saving. Um, it's on the side of the highway right now, and um, I got my belts right here for it. So hopefully it's just gonna need the belts to get that alternator to work. What happened was that the belt slipped off and um, did not, uh, we don't know really what happened, but it slipped off and uh, it's not powering any of the accessories. So hopefully it just needs a belt, not an actual alternator, because I couldn't find an alternator for this thing anywhere. These JDM parts are so hard to find sometimes. So let's see what happens here in a second. I just got here to rescue the team I'm on the side of the highway right here. This JDM FMMR Mitsubishi Fuso. Lifting up the cab right now to do the repairs. Look at this thing, man. Look what it takes just to get to this motor. There you go. Yeah, That's how it does. Got all the space in the wow, room. there we go. So this is where this belt. Yeah, bro, you see the difference you in the belts? Flimsy little belts? Yeah, the difference in the belts already. Yeah, right though, yeah. So that belt was what came off originally. We're gonna replace that with the right stuff. All right, we were removing the belts right now. Just trying to get this thing back on here. I think what originally happened was the, the first belt that was on here was old and dry rotted and just mm -hmm. broke off. Mm -hmm. The no. difference, the <laughs> okay. difference in these two belts is crazy. Yeah, this right this one's is, way yeah. smaller and thinner. Dude, the and right this, belt. And this belt that we took off is just pretty much just like the one we that was on there that broke. Yeah, yeah. That's what that I was. Th that's what I was gonna say. It wasn't as thick as this. Bro, I, I got it in that bag. You can look at it. Yeah, look. This is way thicker than that yeah. one. Yeah, but you know when I cross reference that Goodyear one, it do it doesn't come up as compatible with this one, so it's so confusing. So that's the only thing that tensions this whole system is that this tensioner right here. Mm, tensions what? The AC. Uh, yeah. That what what tensions this part right here? The uh, alternator. Okay, okay. You can see over here. You can okay. shift the alternator like this. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? Okay, yeah. So the problem we're running into is that this belt is too short. I think that I was given the wrong part for this truck because I looked it up and the other one is about an inch bigger. So I'm gonna go 30, mi 30 uh, minutes away and find a better belt. All right, so I just drove all the way to Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, to this O'Reilly where we ordered two more belts with a little bit more flex feel, a couple more millimeters. Hopefully this thing is gonna suit on there better. We're at 1,095 millimeters versus 1,073 millimeters. So let's just pray that when we get back, it's actually gonna work. So let's hit the road and get back to the truck. All right, we just got back from Indiana. I mean, Indianapolis. I got, we, we got that other belt on there. And we're using a pry bar to pry it on there and it's working good so far. Uh, we were able to get the first belt on, which is harder than this second one on. So we just gotta uh, pry it on there. Caleb's working on it right now. It's giving us a little bit of trouble, but we're just gonna keep prying it on there. Try to get this thing out of here. We're in the middle of a farm. You need them diesel hands, boy. Yeah. It's on yeah. there. Good. So now we just want to push it back and uh, lock it in. And she's she's Gucci. I'm going to get my voltmeter and check the voltage. Make sure we're getting power and jump start this baby. How we feeling? Good? <laughs> You're like, man, get me I out of here. I mad. I just... You're like, get me out of this farm. Just ready for what's next. Right. <laughs> Oh wait, we gotta jump it. I gotta throw the AC on it too. Oh, okay, that's right. 
We got that bell back on there. This diesel's about to be chirping. Big old turbo on the side of this farm in Illinois, middle of nowhere. Got the Mazda 3. This Mazda 3 is reliable. Don't talk down on the Mazda 3. Got them two diesel batteries. Alright. Got this jump box. That jump box on this diesel battery. Give her a good old crank. Let's see what she do. Yeah. Uh, well, my jump box didn't work. He put on some Craftsman 1500 amp ones. I'd be impressed, but let's see it. You ready? Yep, crank that mug. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm impressed. My jump box didn't work. That jump box has worked all the time. Wow. Lots of boys. That jump box worked for me all the time. Yeah, these tiny little things pack a punch, bro. Wow. Okay, well, you know what? Throw that Schumacher away. <laughs> Throw that thing away. back together the Mazda once again does its thing we got the Fuso running good about to drive this thing back down to St. Louis and that's another successful repair just shows you what you could do if you set your mind to things we're happy let's make sure that it, the belt doesn't slip off on the way back so I'm gonna update you guys one more time on our way back this truck is running good y'all we're about uh 10 20 minutes away from st louis no problems at all no lights in the dash i will call that a successful repair it's crazy what the serpentine belt can do for you if you don't watch it and it breaks but she's running good about to be home here soon so we'll uh, see what's going on over there in that country fried steak got the biscuits better than red lobster got all the good food